Hi, it's Kathy Adams Clark, and today we're going to process multiple raw photographs that were taken with a rapid burst. Highlight them all, double click, and when you do that, they open all into Camera Raw. And bringing them into Camera Raw, we're going to select all because all of them look virtually the same. We're going to clarify, we're going to vibrance, and we're going to saturate and that will take care of doing that for all of the photographs but you notice that we've got that little shade of blue that means the black is overpowering so we're going to move our black slider look at that histogram that histogram needs to be moved over and that's done with the exposure slider not too far you have to watch to make sure that we're not blowing out the highlights and so just move that back just till the corner of the histogram hits the corner of that graph right about there. Now you'll notice that in each one of these images they're virtually the same, the egret is just moving, but in each one of the images the main area that we're going to concentrate on is this tail flare right here. And so we're going to I'm going to go in, open all the images to 100% and when I go to 100%, that's going to magnify all of the images to 100%. Click on the hand tool, grab all that image right there, and then now each one of the images, when I open them up, are going to go straight to that tail flare area, and that's going to make it a lot easier to process them. I like the detail in this photo, so I'm going to give it two stars. Open the next photo, great detail in the feathers, nice detail in the face, and I'm just moving the picture around with the hand tool. That's a three star. Go to the next one, open it up, let it process, and then move it around. Good detail in the tail feathers, nice detail in the face. And so that's a three star. Next photograph, wait for it to process, move it around, good detail in the feathers, nice detail in the head. That's good. Four stars. A little bit better composition. Wait for it to process. Next image. Good details in the feathers. Look at the face detail. Nice face detail. It's also a four. Bring it down your slider just a little bit so that we can see the next image. Go back in. Hand tool. Let it process. And now drag to the face. Good face detail. Nice and sharp. Three stars. And then in this photo, ooh, out of focus face. So what happens with that? Trash can. Next image, let it process. Grab the face picture, move it down to the face. Everything looks good, three stars. Next image, wait for it to process. Good tail detail. And the face is just a hair turned away. But nice flare on those feathers. So this is give it a three star. Pull down the slider. That brings me to the rest of the photos. Nice detail. Yes, once it processes out, great feather detail there in the neck. Really nice detail in the face with a catch light in the eye. Four stars on that one. Next image. Nice detail in the feathers. Really good detail in the feathers. Nice detail in the face. That's a four star also. Next image, nice detail in the feathers, pull it down, yeah, good detail in the face, four stars, pull down for the rest of the images, look at that, wait for it to process, not looking good, not looking good, out of focus, throw it in the trash can, We've got better images, same thing here, face is out of focus, not looking Next image, good feather detail, wait for it to process, nice face, notice that feather right across the eye, three stars, and then I'm going to go click done, and the image is open in bridge, I'm going to go and double click on those images one more time, they open in Adobe Camera Raw one more time, you see that two star image, we're going to throw it away, because we've got better images now. Look at that three star image. That looks pretty good. Look at it full frame. Look for composition. See how you like it. 
three star image also. Once again, look at the composition. Four star image. Look at the composition, see how you like it. Five four star image, once again. A nice head stretch there. Three star image. See how you like it in comparison to all the rest of them. Go down to the next images and you notice that now we've got that head turned away. I'm going to throw that away because I've got better images than that in this one. Same thing, throw that next image away because we've got better ones than that. The four star tells us that that's a nice image. We've already looked at it for sharpness. Now we're looking at it for composition. The next image, we've already looked at it for sharpness. We like the flow of the lines, but not quite as good as maybe this one. So with this image, look at the flow of the lines. You've got good composition, and that's going to turn out to be one of my five-star images, meaning that I'm impressed with that one, and I like that image. So now go back through, look at this one one more time. Look at that interaction, the look between the two of them. We've got some blank space up there in case the magazine wants to put its masthead up there. And so now, this is an image I'm going to go back and I'm going to give it a 5 now that I'm looking at it one more time. Then I'm going to click Done. And when I click Done, a couple of those images that were thrown away are gone. And now we're ready to do the same thing with the next series of images. Once again, all taken with a rapid burst. Highlight them all. Double click. And when we double click, it's going to open them in Camera Raw. There we go. All the images pull up. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did on the previous images. I'm Kathy Adams-Clark. Thanks for joining me. Come on back and we'll learn some more about processing photos in Camera Raw.